I'm Dale Titcombe, I'm Head of IT and I work for BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. Uh, and after leaving sixth form in the mid-90s, I did a BTEC in Computer Studies before beginning a career in Software Development. So from an early age, uh, I was always interested in computers and electronics um, and this coincided, if you like, with technology becoming uh, cheaper uh, in the 80s, early 90s for home users and the two paper rounds I had managed to fund quite well buying computers and, and, and gaming consoles. Um, but I also enjoyed tapping code into my ZX Spectrum which used to be published in hard copy form in computing magazines. Um, generally wasn't very successful in getting those programs to run but it ignited interest nonetheless. Um, and my career uh, that I've had in software has, has definitely exceeded any expectations that I had um, simply because I hadn't appreciated when I started um, that the huge impact that software has on, on a business, any business, and how many different job roles and activities there are involved in the creation of software. I think practical on-the-job skills are are essential. Being able to apply theory in practice or even practice first and then linking back to or discovering the theory later um, are valuable methods that stay with you all throughout your career. Um, I think an apprenticeship in a digital standard or a T level, um, something that enables you to be employed or on placement for a long period of time, um, is an ideal blend of both. Uh, software is critical um, in the majority of cases and where I work now, software really is the business. Software and more generally technology is driving all modern business, meaning that your IT team are one of the most important business partners um, in any organisation. Uh, this means that as head of IT, I'm regularly describing our IT team's tasks and outputs in terms of business value, uh, linking everything that we build and maintain back to business strategy and goals. For example, at BCS, our software systems absolutely are critical to the apprenticeships that we uh, deliver and assess. I would say it's equal parts science and creativity or, or art. Um, thinking about how users interact with software, what's the purpose of the software, uh, how should that software behave under certain conditions, all of those require creative thinking and creatively applying different skills for solving all sorts of different types of problems. So you need to be thinking about how and when the software will be used, uh, working with other members of other engineering teams to decide on the best ways to design or, or host the software. Uh, you need to think about who the users of the software will be, how they might differ from one another. Is the software going to be internet connected? Most likely it will be. Uh, so then you've got to think about the bad guys, the hackers. What data does the software we're designing store or interact with? Uh, how can we secure our reputation and the safety of our customers and their data uh, by protecting the security? Um, and the security is a, is a kind of never-ending race, uh, always staying in reality one step behind the bad guys and, and maintaining you know, uh, good practice along the way. Honestly, I think a role in software creation can lead almost anywhere in a business. Um, the connection between business and technology uh, is, is much stronger and more obvious than, than ever before. Uh, and to best understand how to build software, you need to understand the business that you're working within or, or the sector or the industry. Uh, so a job in software creation can provide you with not only technical skills um, and abilities to succeed, but really important business skills that you pick up along the way as well, like planning, estimating, enabling, influencing change, uh, business analysis, project management, IT leadership, are, are just some of the, the forks in the road or common pathways uh, that you can build from, from an initial platform in creating software. The, the link between business and technology being, being you know, uh, invariably one of the same thing uh, these days compared to the past, um, you, you aren't confined to the uh, sector of IT itself. Um, you know, all businesses require digital skills, so the opportunities really are vast.
Uh, so skilled and knowledgeable technology workers are, are hugely in demand. Um, we've got a fairly well advertised technical skills shortage in the UK uh, that needs to be improved upon to enable us to continue as a nation uh, to, to be strong and lead on innovation and creativity. Uh, due to the skills shortage employers are, are, are now looking more at opportunities for people who are, who are new into the industry that don't necessarily have all of the skills and experiences uh, yet but can be supported by and grown by the business. Uh, Pay is a very attractive element of working in the software industry as on average salaries tend to be that much higher than average. Um, working conditions too are, are generally excellent with more and more employers becoming more agile and flexible in their working methods and, and the way that they provision and set up their, their offices uh, and that all supports the creative nature of um, the software, software industry. You look for both really, but, but, but neither is necessarily more important than the other. Um, you're looking for, for somebody who uh, can be a good, a good change agent, somebody who is, who is enthusiastic and bright, who might not necessarily have um, all of the coding language skills yet, but if they can show um, enough aptitude for the principles of, uh, of development, the, the language can come later. Uh, so uh, C Sharp, uh, sort of Microsoft.net, um, uh, Ruby, um, are all Java are all common languages. I think those languages will, will continue to evolve uh, and the tool sets available within those sort of language ecosystems uh, are more likely to, to carry on evolving rather than a significant step change in, in those disappearing and being entirely replaced by new. Um, top tip, um, really it's to be enthusiastic and, and energetic with it. Um, when you start out you definitely won't know everything um, and the fast paced IT industry means you'll likely never know everything, I certainly don't. Um, however with energy and enthusiasm you'll discover a host of opportunities that you really never imagined existed. I've really enjoyed the, the, the creativity and the collaboration of working with, with other people, more often than not far more intelligent than myself, so learning from my peers has been, has been something that I've, I've, um, I've, I've held as really, really important and that's, that's helped me progress my career. Um, so yeah, working closely with um, engineering teams, different, different roles in software creation, project managers, business analysts, designers, developers um, have, have all yet really helped me to have a really rounded view of software and, and enjoy the creation process because it's, it's, it's generally always been, it's a bit of a buzzword now, but it's always been a collaboration in my experience and, and that's something to enjoy working with like-minded people, um, smart, energetic, switched on people who you can learn from. Um, look for a, a, a good range of diversity to be honest with you. Um, so when we've been hiring in our, in our business technology department we've always looked to find uh, the best person, the best person with a mix of technical and soft skills. Uh, people who can communicate well with one another, not just inside the team in our sort of IT corner where we're, where we're sat creating software or maintaining software um, but because it's, it's, it's pervasive with the business uh, our technical people will often you know, have meetings uh, and, and go and sit out with, with business people so being able to do that uh, and speak a common language and be able to identify the needs of a user play them back did you mean this We've we, we interpreted it as, as that, um, leads to different people and different, different communication styles working well together to, to engender success. I think software development is a, is a cool, cool thing to be involved in and have a career in um, because 
personally, if I think back to uh, what got me interested in the, in the first place, it was when I was younger, mucking around with computers, playing on gaming consoles, um, and and it and it was tech. It was it was new stuff. It was being able to uh, um, to use to use shiny new technology and to get technology to to do things that impressed other people. Um, and really, that's been a continuation um, uh, sort of throughout my working career uh, in software, um, being able to use technology um, for 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 good reason and and to see the benefits of that.